hi, how are you today? Hi, I'm Patricia and welcome to my channel. I want to talk to you about uh, how to have breakthroughs. Now, a lot of people aren't really sure how they're going to get next level or level up. And sometimes they're not really sure how some of this all comes together. So I want to give you some of the how to and what worked for me and what, you know, kind of didn't work in order to do this. There's, I put like three bullet points here on my board, the way to have breakthroughs. One of the ways is to understand that you are leaving. Okay. That's not on the board. So focus, you are leaving. What does that mean? That means you are leaving the old paradigm. Now that might be a welcome thing for people where they go, whoa, I'm leaving that old paradigm and all that weird patriarchal stuff. It's not just that that was weird. We're leaving it because it got weird and the leaving gets weird too. So in order to really do this, you have to cut with something. It's like saying fish or cut bait. You have to cut with certain things. And that is a part of what I teach in my webinars. I teach you what to introduce. I teach you what to cut with. Now, some people have trouble cutting with people. Some people have trouble cutting with just everyday day in and day out things. Some people have trouble cutting with substances like cigarettes and alcohol, like that's beer or wine and they have trouble with it or even coffee. And it all matters because the most minute part of you is connected to those things and the collective. It's really hard to cut with a lot of things that you may have enjoyed in the old paradigm. Your soul doesn't really need those things. But how do you reconcile living here? Because a lot of people say, well, I'm still living here. You know, I still have a daily life. I have day in and day out stuff. There's temptations all over the place. So I'm here to help you with some tips, hints, what to do, the way to have some breakthroughs. Number one is get off the internet, get off streaming services, get away, run, don't walk to the nearest exit. Why would that be? Okay, as someone who personally enjoys Netflix, and I have a really good story about that, I was trying to think of a gift for my son. And this was a few years ago and Netflix was kind of new. Bridgerton was not out, but um, it turned out that I was feeling very guided to get him a gift. And I don't know if you have those experiences. These things happen to me all the time. And I think it is because I'm a twin flame. We use our twin flaminess to buy the most perfect gift for someone because we just have those flashes of inspiration and we intuit it right then and there. And it wasn't like someone tapped me on the shoulder and said, you know what? We're going to guide you. No, it, it's this inner guidance. My inner GPS was saying to me, I just bet he would love Netflix, but I decided to wrap it in a larger box and kind of make it look like it was something bigger so that when he opened it, he would just see it was a gift card to get Netflix service for three months. Well, lo and behold, we went to open gifts from each other. He got me the same thing. So now we had double the time on Netflix and we got addicted. So what am I saying about just using Netflix as an example? What am I saying about this? You have to cut with the things of the world because if you're tapped in, a lot of other people worldwide are tapped in. You're tapped into that collective energy through the eyes, through what you're taking in, what you see and what you take in. You can't clear the past unless you have the ability to be able to break away and that is huge, okay? The same mechanisms of pleasure work in the body unless somebody has frozen them out through like really extreme drugs, alcohol, and their nerves get, they get neuropathy. You have to give a chance for the nerves to reset. So this is why you're getting off the internet, you're getting off of streaming services. Do you ever find yourself like at the end of the day, you're having sleepless nights, but somehow you're like, well, let me see what's on the news. And then your mind is saying, well, go check this. Then you hear something and you're like, go look that up. And so you're on Wikipedia or Google. And next thing you know, you're like, I just spent three hours trolling around on the internet. Using the word 
trawling like fishing boats do so that you know they're they're trawling they're looking for little they're looking for fish to pick up and stuff like that not troll so one of the things you can do for yourself even though i i'm saying this at the risk of knowing i do videos get off the internet stop watching all kinds of stuff let your mind clear let yourself refresh i also teach this and i teach it at certain times of the year because it makes a critical difference with your ascension process, your journey, how you can have breakthroughs. Next thing, let go of the things of the world. You're not a lemming. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say that kind of a little bit tongue in cheek here, okay? Nods to Pink Floyd. Here's the thing, if you're gonna be a unique little snowflake, you have to be able to be unique and be interesting and let your soul and your spirit like ramp you up, expand and make you who you really are. It doesn't happen by being angry. It doesn't happen by having the tantrum. It happens with things that you let go of so that your soul, your higher self, your twin flaminess can begin to ramp up and dial up, like really turn up the volume on you and so you let go of the things of the world. What can this be? Well, have you ever noticed what happens around certain times of the year, like a holiday, okay? Everyone's hustling and bustling and they're stressed, trying to get everything ready. What if you were detached from that stress, okay? And every culture has holidays. Every culture has you know, some different celebrations throughout the year. There's also sports celebrations. Do you ever notice in the United States, all of the hustle and bustle and stress about the Super Bowl, okay, happens after New Year's. But for a lot of people, that's been like, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, get together with family, New Year's. And then, and you know what? Nobody gets a break. How do you let go of the things of the world? The things of the world are also things that have comforted and yet they they begin to reverse on you. They are not comfortable anymore. They are not feeding your spirit. They're having almost the opposite effect. You're stressed, you're worn out, you're drained. You got to pay attention to those things. So you let go of the things of the world. And yes, this will include things that people pick up for self-comfort, such as cigarettes alcohol. And alcohol includes wine and beer. People like to rationalize that in their heads and say, you know, well, it's just beer or it's just wine. You know, it's not like 90 proof alcohol. It doesn't matter. If you drink too much of it, you know it on the inside. You know it. I knew it. I knew it when I used to do it. And I used to have these little talks with myself. And I used to be like, you know what? I, I can't do this. I didn't know how. And there were things that I learned through my journey. There were, it was like I was being sponsored from above to do it and to do it the right way so that it took. And a lot of what it took was the integration of the new light body that doesn't want to hold any of these things. Okay, let go of the things of the world. What else do we do down here? We road rage, we argue with people, we stress, we worry. Okay, and it doesn't matter sometimes how many inspirational things you read in the morning to start your day off. Like, you know, you could say, you know, nature knows the timing of everything. And that's true because I live in Chicago and I used to see the little flowers poking their little heads up through the snow. They were going to rise up regardless of whether it snowed one more time, but to our own perceptions were saying, I'm still in this winter stage of the year. It doesn't feel okay. I want to be in the spring stage. Well, spring is coming. And so sometimes there's, you know, just some dissonance between where you want to be and where you are actually at. When you're able to let go of things, that's one thing. When your body doesn't hold it, that's huge. Because that's how you literally are rising up and you are the one that is 
walking head and shoulders above everyone else. If you ever heard that expression, you're in the earth and not of the earth, okay? You're walking here and someone else is walking here, okay? Doesn't really make you superior, it makes you lighter. It means those things bounce off of you. It means that those things are not dragging you down, draining you, okay? She can look a certain way, but she may be feeling very drained, very out of energy, very fatigued. She has a routine that she does every single day, which keeps her up. And this is something that I teach. Oh yeah, I'm so glad that I learned that because it makes every day so different. Some of the comments I've had from people once they start experiencing this is, I'm feeling this love here. I'm like, that's that's your light body. That's your light body holding the love. But what do I do with it? And I say, just feel it. But is it going to go away? No, not if you do your routine that I teach because I make it easy for you to just hold it right there. I notice people are different with me. They're better. They're nicer. They're more gentlemanly. They're more ladylike. They're more elegant. They're more refined. Yes, that is true too because those people will rise up to meet you where you are at, not drag you down to where they are. This is the natural result. This is the result. It's not supernatural. It is natural for us because many times as we let go of the things of the world, we're also letting go of those surface tensions, those worries, those cares, because we are being fed through from our soul and our higher selves right through to here. So things do get easier. It's easier to feel like you don't want to get drunk or get high or get hammered or smoke until you are coughing out your lungs. And I will say this, those things are no longer supported. Fighting is no longer supported. Raging is no longer supported. Corruption is no longer supported. It's not supported from above. That is why we are leaving that old paradigm. In the old paradigm, you could say, well, we turn a blind eye to bribery and corruption. Well, we turn a blind eye to, um, you know, the fact that microbreweries are popping up and getting funding, but you can't get enough money for groceries. Sorry. Uh, we're turning a blind eye to the fact that somehow somebody's getting financing for commercial space and building a commercial building. And yet there's not enough money to build some decent housing for people who need the housing subsidies. What's up with that? Boy, if I were the queen, it sure would be different. Let me tell you, <laughs> there's not enough money for this. Ever see how many vineyards pop up? Ever wonder how those vineyards, how are they doing? How are they really like, how are their finances? Cause it takes a lot of selling booze to keep those things running. Some of them do it, some of them don't. Some of them produce something, make a fancy label, get their brand, and at the end of the day, it's still red wine and it's still being marked down at the discount counter over at Benny's Beverage Depot. So what, what should we do about this? I say we leave, let go of the things of the world. What should you do? Focus on your light body, the brand new one. Now, this might be easy things for people that, you know, they just, they self-describe as, you know, I'm a healer. I'm a, you know, I, I do things. I read tarot cards. That's lovely. Tarot cards are not your light body. Okay. Do they work on their light body? So I have a special program coming up. It is your light body in transition because your light body is moving out of that old paradigm into a new level. If you struggle with some of these things, this is the place to be. If it is wearing you out, draining you, if you have chronic things, if you have an addiction, and maybe you're not sure, and maybe you don't even have to admit it to me. I don't care about admitting it. What I care about is your integration of your light body that doesn't want to hold those things. Those things run in your ancestry, and by now you know it. You can look at your relatives, you could look back, and you can say, that's how it is. So 
And it, it affects certain people in the wrong way. Some Asian people, they lack the enzyme to break down some of this stuff. It really negatively affects them. So, you know, it's a no-no for them. They cannot indulge in it. If you're hooked on like um, things like, you know, adult stuff, adult themed stuff, same thing, same kind of mechanism. So do you want to quit? Do you want to know the way to do this? Then join my class. The link is below my live webinar. You can ask questions and answers. We're going to lead you through. And I have another program called Empaths and Healers. It's on my website and check it out. It is for people that feel highly empathic. I'm going to leave you with one more thought and think about this. Are the things you're doing affecting your real twin where they are? Okay. Because if you're not aware, that can account for some mystery symptoms that they have. If someone is smoking on one end, the other one is hacking their lungs out. And I read for people where that's the case. I actually read for the people who are struggling with the symptoms sometimes. And I can sense what's happening on the other side. That is my gift. I can feel the real twin and how you two need to balance. And I can feel what things you need to get rid of. And it starts with one thing. Focus on your light body, the brand new one. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped you. We have to bring it beyond, yes, the cards and the... I honestly, like, it's time to graduate because 2024 is around the corner and it is time. It's time, okay? We're going to be in an acceleration in the next season. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.